Thank you, Leader McCarthy, for putting the task force together, Ranking Member McCall, for your leadership and all the work that's gone into this. Ambassador Shaw, it's great to see you again. Um, Taiwan is a thriving democracy. It is a technological powerhouse, and it's a crucial friend to the United States. They're our close security ally, a top trading partner. They're our 10th largest export market and the seventh largest source of imports. Unfortunately, in the aftermath of Putin's invasion of Ukraine, Communist China has ramped up its threats against Taiwan. As a member of Congress, as members of Congress, we must take action to deter China and affirm Taiwan's right to exist. For instance, the House passed an FY 2023 NDAA calls for more U.S.-Taiwanese military cooperation, such as in, and including uh, work with the naval forces in the RIMPAC exercises and prioritizing additional joint military exercises. It also calls upon the United States government to continue support and development of capable, ready, and modern defense forces. And we've talked about the backlog already in the, in the already approved for years now uh, defense uh, exchanges, military exchanges. Additionally, we must take steps to deter China's diplomatic bullying of Taiwan. The CCP has worked tirelessly in places like, well, Latin America, where I serve as the ranking member on uh, the Western Hemisphere. Uh, strong arming countries into severing diplomatic ties with Taiwan, and it's ridiculous. Since 2017, countries like Panama, the Dominican Republic, El Salvador, and Nicaragua have all cut ties with Taiwan as a result of China's bullying. As both a member of the Armed Services Committee and a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, I find China's malign activities in our hemisphere deeply concerning. Nothing less is the leader said, nothing less than our national security is at stake. In this vein, um, the Hask will uh, ask the Defense Department to conduct a thorough report on China's malign activities in our hemisphere. And additionally, I introduced the Bipartisan Western Hemisphere Nearshoring Act with Chairman Sears and the guidance of Ranking Member McCall. This bill would return manufacturing to our hemisphere from China, reduce our supply chain, dependence on Chinese manufacturing, reduce migration by fostering economic prosperity amongst our southern borders. Again, I, I want to thank Leader McCarthy, Ranking Member McCall, and of course, Ambassador, for your strong friendship and for hosting this event today. I look forward to hearing from everyone.